So picture this, you're building a computer and you're wondering what kind of RAM or memory to get. So you, being the clever little PC builder you are, head on over to good old PC part picker and you explore your options. Overwhelmed by the number of choices you are presented with, you begin to panic and decide that building a computer is too hard so you head your way over to Dell.com and find the cheapest computer there and click order. Okay, you probably won't do that. Instead, you'll watch the rest of this video series and figure out just what kind of RAM you need. The most obvious and talked about aspect of RAM is the capacity measured in gigabytes just like your hard drive. It's pretty commonly agreed upon in the computer building world that you really only need 8GB for gaming and normal day-to-day -day tasks. 8GB provides plenty of room for lots of Chrome tabs, Spotify, and games. However, once you start getting to 3D rendering, video editing, and other RAM-sucking applications, 8GB starts not to be enough. If you're planning on doing a bunch of video editing, 3D modeling, simulations, or you're just a super hardcore multitasker, then it might be a good idea to go for 16GB. If you're planning on doing a lot of virtualization, you might want to think about 32GB and beyond. One thing gaming computer pre-built manufacturers will try to sell you on is RAM capacity because putting in a bunch of RAM is a cheaper way of selling machines to the uneducated than upgrading things that actually matter for gaming, like the graphics card. So to recap, 8GB for regular use in gaming, 16GB for video editing, CAD work, and heavy multitasking, and 32 or more for specialized cases such as running a bunch of virtual machines. 